Que? 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 George, 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 George. Before, before I do my chaotic oh dedication for this morning. Oh my God. Charlie, this is your 10 years. <laughs> your 10 year challenge story. Charlie, yeah. if you are missing out on the pictures, you have no, to get please, onto please, my, please. Go, my Facebook page now. Go on George Adu Jr. on Facebook. Right now. Adu Jr. on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> and we are going to post it on the official Joy FM handle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because when I look at your, when I look at your picture, this is I all I think about, George. Oh my God. bottom, now my whole team here started from the God is, God is good. God is good. Oh, God, God is good. Has been good. <laughs> yes. Today I'll say God is good. God, God is, is good. God, God is, is good. good. <laughs> Hey my god. Check out that trend on Twitter. Uh, 10 years. Oh yeah, 10 years ago by this time you I'll be doing the Sports Digest on Radio Universe. <laughs> oh yeah. 7:45. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you okay, know. so 10 years yeah, ago. Yeah. What, what were you what were you doing? Were you doing uh, like? January 2019, uh-huh. I was a producer at Sky Power FM. 2009. You know? yeah, yeah, 2009. I was yes. a producer at Sky Power FM. And the Lord has lifted you from <laughs> from 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 the very very So 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 my job was that when people are reading the news, I'm sitting behind the console and I'm, you remember last year that's what I was doing. She here. said, "Now what's it, cra?" Last I year, that's what I did. Kind of way of what? Then you're me a phone now. You're me. Oh, we can't so. go. We can't go. We can't go. Tell you, know you know what? <laughs> Send us in a message and tell us what were you doing ten years ago? Ten years ago. Ten years ago, what Look were you at your doing? Life. Look and at your life. Saying thank you, God. Oh Charlie, God, is you good. must be joking. God, God is, is good. good. God, God is, is good. And you have to say thank you to Katie. Anyway. Um, <laughs> We also say thank you to MTN. Welcome to the new world. Standard Chartered Bank here for good. Yeah, MTN. MTN the tribe. Uh, MTN tribe. 10 years ago. 10 years ago. Oh, yeah. Sub 10 brothers. years. We're st- we I'm still using my normal. Uh, um, 0244. Uh, <laughs> Stanchat Stan to try. Stanchat to try. Keep my father has money. been banking with Stanchat for Oh, years. my God. My school fees was paid from Stanchat. Oh, my God, Stanchat. Here for good. Here for good. FPAC blows your pain away. All the headaches 10 years All ago. the headache. Keep What's it though. Oh. FPAC. You know the, the boxing glove, no? You know what I'm saying? Charlie, Charlie. I hear I caught it one day. That's they what I caught it one day. the sports center for... God bless oh, you. Oh, and we have to give a God. big, big care to Multi TV. Oh, Multi TV. Just thrills. Ten years. Charlie, ten years. Oh, Multi TV. Oh, do you remember Joy Sports oh, I, for I kids? It. Joy Sports for um, kids. Um, Planet something, Adi. something. Adi. Adi. Oh, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. God, God is good. If you're your cast, just say God is good. 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 Now, since we are looking 10 years into the future, <laughs> yes. from last 10 years, from last 10 years yeah. there's a new year, there's a fresh year. Uh, you saw year. Raymond's picture? Raymond. Raymond. No, Raymond's picture was very unique. God has... No, look, you people need to Charlie, get on the train. We need to do some Thanksgiving service. Yeah, yeah. yeah. get on the train. The Lord has saved Raymond. Charlie. <laughs> God has... God has... Oh. To be fair, eh. I was impressed with my own. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, no, you looked at it and you were impressed. You looked at it and you were impressed. And you liked it. Yes, 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 oh yes, 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 oh yes. But when I saw your own... And you were... <laughs> no, no, Raymond. Uh, I, need to, I, need, I need to play this again for you. <laughs> I don't have, have holes on my feet. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you. Compared to, you know. <laughs> okay, okay, we are Charlie, having too much fun. George, we are having too much fun. Are they chopping chop beans, Benzi, but still? <laughs> but still. I don't <laughs> anyway, we're eating into your eyes, your eyes. I don't even know what was happening, my God. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> it's a new year, there's a fresh beginning. Whatever you need, I'll be for you. Is it the need to pay fees or the need for that salary or rent advance or that little something to just cushion yourself? Just keep talking, texting, browsing, and transacting more. With your MTN Momo, you could win 30,000 Ghana CDs and lots of other exciting cash rewards and more each month to cushion you in the new year with MTN More For You promo. And even brighter, you earn additional 75,000 bonus points for every 150,000 points you accumulate to increase your chances of winning these awesome cash rewards. Dial star 120 has to check your points. We day for you everywhere you go that's mtn telling you that now this is our year to live breathe and stand right through the highs and lows of the season join millions of reds around the world to show what we wear what we do and what inspires our great club 
and win loads of prizes. Just use your standard chartered Visa debit or credit card online or at any point of sale in and out of Ghana to win signed jerseys and an all-expense paid trip for two to Anfield. Remember, Standard Chartered is the official sponsor of Liverpool FC and we stand red with you. Liverpool FC, you'll never walk alone. Standard Chartered here for good. Terms and conditions apply. And let's get into the Sports Centre. And Danny, you know, Ghana Football Association Normalisation Committee Chairman Dr. Kofi Amwa has told Joy Sports the committee is focused on finishing their work to meet the FIFA deadline. The Normalisation Committee has until March 31 to wrap up their work for fresh elections. Already, there are reports that the five-man committee is keen on extending their stay at the helm of affairs of Ghana Football. But in reacting to this, Dr. Kofi Amwa insists they are committed to finishing their work before the deadline. Well, I think, we'd, I don't know why Ghanaians always want to predict the negative. I, 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 you know, this is a six-month tenure of activities. Uh, I appreciate the president of Ghana and FIFA giving me this opportunity and my colleagues, but I have my business to run. You know, as much as I want to sacrifice a part of my time and, 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 uh, and, and, and uh, expertise to assist with a national assignment, we need to finish this and move on. So you are showing us that by the first of March, no I'm doing it. We, uh, we took a job to that is supposed to take a six months. So obviously our curriculum is going to be like that. That's what I can say for now. I'm not here to try to do things in a way that will extend my tenure. Mm -hmm. That is not interesting. Now, former GFA Executive Committee member Randy Abbey has added his voice to the reports uh, of the committee likely to seek for an uh, extension. According to Randy, his reaction will be informed by the reasons for a possible extension in any way possible to, to help them do a great job and lay the kind of foundation that we believe will give the next uh, administration a successful takeoff. Mm. What will be your reaction should the committee seek for an extension? Well, I think that it will be dependent on the reasons. I mean, normalization committees in different jurisdictions have been given extensions and, and they mostly are based on um, um, particular issues. The extensions are not just given for the sake of it, but there is always a basis for that extension. So I'm sure that uh, if there's an extension, there'll be a basis, and it is that basis that will inform whether, I mean, it's um, a well-intentioned decision or not. But for Black Stars of uh, former Black Stars player Odate Lamte, the six-month period giving is too short, you know, a time for the committee to finish their work. Hence, they should be giving an extension. I think six months is a bit, a bit short time. It depends how fast they can work. And you see, because it's not their fault, this is uh, now that they are trying to know how football runs and all that, yes, it will, it, will, it will bring them. So I think, yes, if they give them another six months, make it, making it a year, and I'm sure by that time, after six months, they mature, they've seen whatever is in football. And then if any decision they want to take, then they, they can take. And I'm sure with that, they should be able to, to have a very good decision to change things around. Now it's unclear when the Ghana Football Association special competition will be played after yesterday's media launch was postponed. Now this is, or that was as a, re a result of an impasse between the 16 Premier League teams and the Normalisation Committee. Patrick Akoto is spokesperson of the Premier League clubs and I asked him if the top flight clubs feel they have won the battle following the standoff. Absolutely. I mean, uh, don't forget that the Premier League teams or the Premier League clubs were the first outfit to send a proposal to the normalization committee. If you do recall, mm. we're seeking an approval or a sanctioning to, to start our own, you know, uh, our own kind of, of a competition. Yes, we sent a proposal, actually. So we had the ah. proposal. Yes, we sent the proposal to the normalization committee. Uh, they approved it. Of course, it, it, it depended on how far we could get in securing sponsorship mm -hmm. uh, for the competition, which we, we've been on it, and, and we're having some very, very positive you know, thoughts on, on, on that particular line. So right from the onset, it is the Premier League team which is leading this crusade of ensuring that we return to the pitch and return to the pitch in earnest. Now, the number of Ghanaian players in the MLS for the upcoming of course, for the upcoming season will increase by four after the Super Draft yesterday. On Friday, New York Red Bull selected Roy Boating and MLS champions Atlanta United picked Anderson Isidu. Yesterday, former Right to Dream Academy trainee Rashid Nuhu got picked by New York Red Bulls. And the goalkeeper is seeking to become the first Ghana-born gloves man to mount the post for an MLS club. Um, it feels good to make it to the MLS. 
because it's something I've dreamt about for a long time. And sitting down and like seeing my name being called out by the Red Bulls was a real relief and like a dream come true for me. Being drafted by Red Bulls is a good recognition because it's a big club, well-known club. It's just a team that you know, you don't, it's not, nothing is going to be given to you. You have to work hard. And in my position, being a goalkeeper is just something like you, you have to trust the process because you're going to be new to the environment, new to the club, put your head down, work hard, and hopefully when the opportunity comes, I'll be ready. More football news and Asante Kotoko coach Siki Akuna insists he's focused on the job despite pressure from some fans. Last weekend, after the 1 1 draw with Ashanti Gold in the JA Kufo Cup, some fans called for the exit of Siki Akuna. Over the weekend, he led the side to beat Cotton Sport of Cameroon 3 2 in a CAF Confederations Cup playoff game. Siki Akuna insists he's focused on the job. From the beginning of our, our, our campaign, and uh, uh, people are not too happy sometimes the way we play. But I think the, uh, the spirit goes on. The boys have shown good character, great character today. I'm proud of them and uh, I'm focusing on the job. The return leg at the Baba Yara Stadium in just six days' time. Definitely, uh, that was not going to be easy. Um, uh, the fact that we came here and we were able to, to play well, I don't think they, they will just come and, and, and let us go. It's going to be tough, but we will have to prepare uh, for that match. To the EPL then, and Garo Jesus scored twice as Manchester City eased past 10-man Wolves to cut Liverpool's lead at the top of the table to four points. Yes, very good win there, but we can now hear from the BBC, BBC's Conor McNamara, who was at the Etihad. The gap at the top of the Premier League narrows down to four points again. Liverpool remain on top, but Manchester City continuing their revival, having put a hatful of goals beyond Rotherham and Burton in cup competitions. They put three tonight against Wolves, but never really a contest after that early red card for the visitors. An own goal and two from Gabriel Jesus. Manchester City have beaten Wolves 3-0. We can now hear from City boss Pep Guardiola. I don't have a magician ball to discover when I'm going to lose points. I don't know. And I said to them, don't look the schedule, don't look the, don't watch the, the, the calendar from the Liverpool games. Forget about it. Because normally when that's happened, you lose your games. So the best way is next game is Huddersfield, new manager. So we can do to beat them and and go. So if we play and win games, and after that, and Liverpool win. I'm pretty sure I will be here. I congratulate Jurgen and their team because they will well deserve. Only we can do being there. Being there and feeling we are there. <laughs> Pep Guardiola taking every moment to heap pressure on Liverpool, no, who are top of the table, no doubt there. Let's talk some tennis right now. Australian Open stuff. And Serena Williams is true to the second round. Wonderful performance against the Maria. But we have to speak now to the BBC's David Law, who is in Melbourne. So just how good was Serena? It was, and it could have been worse, to be honest, because uh, from a Tatiana Maria perspective, at one stage, after 32 minutes, it was six love, three love. Uh, so it could have even been a double bagel in, a, in less than 45 minutes. As it was, it went a bit over that, but Serena Williams has come in here looking very confident, very cool, and ready to do some damage at this tournament. It's quite interesting that she's the only player that didn't do a pre-tournament press conference. You may remember the last time we really saw her on a stage like this was the USO Open when she had the uh, the trouble in the final with the umpire and um, and a lot of controversy that followed that. So we haven't had a chance to talk to her about that yet. She'll be in soon. But Serena Williams through and looking good. She faces Eugenie Bouchard of Canada in the next round, who's on a bit of a comeback after some really lean years. And uh, Bouchard, a comfortable winner today. Uh, she has been a semi-finalist at this tournament before, and she'll face Serena Williams next. Simona Halep, the world number one in the women's game, is in action this evening, and she. She's up against the player Kaya Kanefi, who actually knocked her out at the US Open uh, just a few months ago. That also in the first round. So it's a pretty rough draw for Halep. Chance for her to get a bit of a re revenge, though, of course. And after that, uh, Novak Djokovic is in action. Uh, he's in the evening session tonight, the world number one in the men's game and winner of the last two Grand Slam titles. So hoping to win another one here at the Australian Open. Well, yeah, Novak Djokovic and Simona Halep will get onto their respective courts for the next 15 minutes. Meanwhile, Andy Murray says he will make a decision on a potential career extending hip surgery in a week or two. I have basically two options, and one is to take the next four and a half months off and then build up and, you know, play Wimbledon. You can't walk properly at all just now. 
you know, I could play another match, but if I want to try and play again and, you know, I want to improve my quality of life, because even if I take four months off, I still can't walk. Like, I'm still in, in doing basic day-to-day -day things. But having an operation like that, there's absolutely no guarantees that I'd be able to play again, and I'm fully aware of that. <laughs> well, Danny, that's it for the Joy Sports Centre, you know. Um... We had some chaotic shout-outs quickly. Yes, yes, a number of chaotic shout-outs. First of all, uh, let me say a big, 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 big care mm. to Ju Rene Aku Aperu. Rene. He says, I was a hall president at UCC 10 years ago. Oh! Yes, yes, yes. And it's also a belated happy birthday to her big brother, mm. uh, Theophilos Aperu, head of the business intelligence unit of ADB head office from Joan, his wife, uh, Jessica Martin, Jemima, Ruby, Rene, and the entire Pedro family, home and abroad, wishing him Godspeed and providence in 2019. Good morning to you, Rene. Um, so, <laughs> ten years. after hearing the 10 year stories <laughs> and seeing George's 10 years pictures ah. and um, Raymond Aqua's 10 year pictures, those are also very, very serious. What are you trying to say? <laughs> There's only one more thing that we have to do we have to um, look at hey. God. So what? You put a picture up, eh? Hey! Chaotic 10-year challenge. I've seen a chaotic 10-year challenge. Oh, my God. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You've seen... Uh, oh, the chaotic 10-year challenge is on on Twitter. So, please, please, if you if you, if you you remember where you were 10 years ago, let's thank God. Sami or Dami, where was he 10 years if ago? If you don't... If you don't... Sami or Dami, where were you 10 years let, ago? Let me just say that if you don't Hopefully have a picture... Where were you 10 years ago? If you don't have a picture, you can just tell us where you were 10 years ago. <laughs> Add... Um, <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Hey! I saw another one. Who? I saw another one. <laughs> so please, let's do this quickly for the Lord. So the Lord has been doing the miracles. He's been doing too many <laughs> performing miracles. Performing miracles. In fact, in fact, Each George. day. In fact, George, George. Each George. day. Okay, Nick says I was in class my six. Boss, ten years I was our section leader. <laughs> my, my boss, Sami Kwadade. You were in oh, ten years Sammy ago. Kwadade, you were in ten, ten years, years ago. ago. You don't know, Sami was still a big Sammy man. Sami was a big man, no. <laughs> was well, Sammy was born a big Sammy man. Sammy was running really. with a top, top, top commentator, sports presenter. top sports presenter. Pastor Tieku has sent us pictures. Uh, uh, post, it, post it on our Twitter and our Facebook. Twitter, Twitter, Facebook. Yeah, use the hashtag JoySMS. Where that were you 10 years ago? ago? I was a level 200 student of the University of Education, Winnibab. Papa Tieko Eko for And God has saved you. Yes, 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 yes. God okay. is good. This one says, the way Daniel and George are getting along this morning. Oh my God. Please give us a Kaya crowd. You didn't add your name. You want to <laughs> care. <laughs> you, you say you want to be part of the Kaya family. You won't even tell us your name. Okay. Um, oh, my boss is here. Ten years ago. Oh. Sammy, ten years ago. Ten my years boss. ago. <laughs> ten years ago. Where were you? Good morning to everyone. Good um, morning, my good boss. Morning. Ten years ago. I was in Ghana. Ghana, yeah, but <laughs> what were you doing? What were you doing in Ghana? Ten years ago. <laughs> I think I had completed uh, the history of journalism. Oh wow. my God! I served as an SRC president. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh God is good. Oh, What's it? Oh, it? Yo, you tell oh, us someone again. says that I think. Uh huh. This 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 one is what really good. I think, you know, is that what? No, this one says that George. I think that in 2009, the, the camera quality was poor. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's why it couldn't take nice people at me. We still had colored cameras. We still had colored cameras around. Come on, college on here. That's why I'm looking that but way. But you see, you see, you know they're very seriously. Even <laughs> a, Echo Bank has a, a bank. Decade, a decade is uh, a long time oh, for people to change. Yeah. Yes. It's a very long time. Yeah, that some haven't changed. Like Dennis. <laughs> okay, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Dennis is our social media executive who is behind the Facebook live stream. DJ Robertie. Come and stand 
in the camera. Seriously, DJ Black hasn't changed. DJ Black hasn't changed much. Okay, he hasn't changed. My my theory is that DJ Black, the way Nathaniel Lato was born with a bow tie, DJ Black was born with a hat. No, no, Nathaniel, when he came out of the movie, he was wearing a bow tie. Oh my God. So I'm sure 10 years ago, he was wearing a bow tie. But 10 years ago, he was working with Doreen. Looking at Doreen, she has no change. But you can Doreen and no change. What do you mean? Today, I mean, all this changing is in relation to, I mean, your physical appearance. Oh, yes, of course, of course. Physical appearance. So Doreen has it. Uberti, ten years ago, you were dealing with cassettes. Today, and no, no, today, no, no, today, 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 he was calling 10 years ago. <laughs> Look at you. Charlie, so good you, and you are doing Uberti, Uberti, Uberti. We've Uberti. come very far. We thank oh, God. Oh, yes. Everybody's we thank God. Life. Yes. Thank God. Time changes. Yeah. Time changes. Yeah. Now, why are you looking and at me Katie, like that? Katie, Katie has been the vehicle. <laughs> because you, time changes. <laughs> anyway, okay. we thank God. <laughs> it's okay. The mental difference is money. Because you're the same guy. It's money. Anyway, and God. No, 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 no. Stop that. It's not entirely about money. It's about how you carry yourself. Amen. And then... Organize your whole life. Yeah. Your value systems. Value system. Yo, money is important. Money, the help. Oh, money is important. This man, what was eating 10 years ago? Nobody is eating. Gary What was eating 10 years ago? Gary has changed. Okay, the Echo Bank logo 10 years ago. It's okay. The Echo Bank logo 10 years ago has changed you today. <laughs> this is from David Opoku, uh, who just sent us this one. But uh, you know what? We're going to take the groove on the Super Morning Show.